A wind gust of 15 meters per second, which is about 34 miles per hour, blows across a 0.8 meter by 1.5 meter window. Estimate the force produced by air pressure difference on this closed window. And what is the direction of this force? The density of air is 1.29 kilograms per meter cubed. We have a flowing fluid, so I'm going to use Bernoulli's equation. And I'm going to use 1 for the inside of the house and 2 for the outside of the window. In this problem, we do not really have a flow of air traveling from 1 to 2, but we can still use Bernoulli's equation to estimate the pressure difference on the two sides of the window. So inside the house, the pressure is P1. Inside the house, the air is calm, so the speed of air flow is zero. Because uh, Y1 and Y2, they are going to be the same. There's no height difference on the two sides, so we can just cross these two out. And uh, outside, the pressure is P2. Outside, we have a fluid. The flowing fluid is air, so we're going to use the density of the air, 1.29. The speed outside the window is 15 meters per second, so it's 15 squared. Now we have one equation with two unknowns, P1 and P2. So we cannot find P1, we cannot find P2, but luckily we do not need to find P1, we, we do not need to find P2, we only need to find the pressure difference. So we can easily find P1 minus P2, if I just subtract P2 on both sides, and I'm going to get 1 half times 1.29 times 15 squared, which gives me about 145. Now, if you had used P2 minus P1, you'll get negative 145. That's okay. We can just uh, drop the sign and use the absolute value to find the amount of pressure difference. And then what we want is the force produced by air pressure difference. So the force is uh, the pressure difference times the area. The pressure difference is 145. The window area is uh, 0.8 times 1.5. So this will give us about 174 newtons. And uh, which direction force would that be? Um, outside the window, the speed is fast, therefore the pressure is low. So P1 is higher than P2, that means the pressure difference would push on the window outward. So this is uh, an outward force. A hurricane or typhoon has at least 34 meters per second sustained wind. This is 34 meters per second, not 34 miles per hour, it's meters per second. So that means the speed compared to that wind gust we just looked at, it's a factor of 34 divided by 15, which is about 2.27 which means it is 2.27 times that wind speed. And since the pressure difference is 1 half times rho v squared, that means this is proportional to the speed squared. That means it would change by a factor of 2.27 squared, which means it's 5.14 times that value. And the force created by the pressure difference, of course, it's the pressure difference times the area. The area is not going to change, so it is proportional to the pressure difference. Therefore, the force will change by the same factor, 5.14. That means, uh, in this case, uh, the force, the new force uh, caused by a wind speed that's 34 meters per second would be 174 newtons times 5.14 and uh, that will be 894 newtons of force. And that's about uh, the weight of a 17.4 kilogram object. This is about the weight of uh, a 89.4 kilogram object. So uh, there's a hurricane or a typhoon coming, people would uh, board up their windows because uh, there will be large forces acting on their windows. 
due to pressure difference created by the wind.